So in this session, we're going to look at how to set up OLAP um, data sources in Pyramid and then how to ensure that any user level security defined in the cube is honored by the Pyramid um, framework. For starters, we will log into Pyramid and go to the admin and go ahead and add a brand new data source using OLAP. Pyramid itself does not need to be actually wired up to the Active Directory but it does need to be installed uh, in an environment where it can directly access the Active Directory on the network. The first thing to do is to provide um, the server address for the machine and provide a Windows domain access account that can access the machine. This account must be an administrative account on Analysis Services for this to work. This is not how you log into the to uh, Analysis Services for the querying. It's just an account to open up the connection. Also, we will turn this feature off. Um, this is additive security. Uh, for now, let's ignore it and I hit apply. First step, we created that. Second step um, in Pyramid is even though the server is on, we um, force all roles to have direct access to the server itself for it to be visible to users. Um, this is a, just a, a, a management feature that really simplifies uh, managing who can and who can't see the server in Pyramid itself, regardless of whether the user can um, access the server natively. So now that we've done that, we'll go ahead and add a user. We'll simply create a user called tester, simple password, we'll give them an email address and the key here is the Active Directory account that you want this user to to use when they're logging into um, the cube. You can use it in two formats, one is the classic NetBIOS domain slash username and the other one is in the UPN format. Um, to demonstrate this I'm going to use a user called mtest1 and put their um, Active Directory account in the UPN format and I'll hit save. The second thing about this user is to give them roles and I simply just give them access to the two kinds of roles there. These are pyramid roles so they can get to content and other features later. And that's it in terms of administration. If we go now and look at Management Studio you'll see that I have my pyramid demo cube here I've created a role and the role has got the member there's the member we just were using the data sources don't need to be on the cubes do need to be on and if you want drill through features you need to turn them on too but the read access here is important and for the demonstration um, we're going to look at securing um, the product dimension and within that we're going to secure product category and we're only going to let them see components and clothing. The two C categories, bikes and accessories will be off. That's for this particular user. Um, so that's a role set up on that cube um, in uh, analysis services. And this analysis services, and this is the critical piece, is actually hosted on the domain. For this functionality to work, analysis services must be on the domain. It cannot be running in a local or operating system security or like workgroup. It has to be a domain attached analysis services. To see the effect of these changes, we'll start by opening up an OLAP report built on this cube using an account that has no security layers on it. And you can see here that I can see bikes, components, clothing and accessories on the products category dimension uh, broken out by cogs and margin um, measures and of course these are all fully sliceable, diceable and drillable. If I was to swap over now to the user and log in under the tester account and open up the exact same report you'll see that the report is suddenly truncated to only showing me components and clothing. The bikes and accessories categories have been removed. And this demonstrates perfectly how Keep Security and Pyramid can work together. Further, if I was to view the elements of the product dimension, you can see that I cannot see the elements under bikes and accessories. 
I can only view the content shown here uh, to me as per the cube's security. In the last phase of this demonstration, we want to point out the additive overlay and security features in the admin tool for all kinds of data sources, including OLAP. Here, the user can set overlay and metadata settings for the cube based on hierarchies and measures, which include changing descriptions, display folders, types, and even names. And this includes being able to secure, which is hide and show hierarchies and measures, which cannot be done in an OLAP or tabular cube on its own. We do not extend member level security through this interface that is related only to SQL data sources. And that concludes our demo.